If lines are single segmented objects connecting two points, then polylines are line segments in a connected sequence created as a single object. That means that they're lines, or maybe even arcs in some cases, with multiple vertices. Polylines are great for contour lines, wire diagrams, piping drawings, extrusion profiles, pathways, you know, or even a closed object. When a polyline is closed, meaning that there is no real beginning or end, it's called a polygon, which is a closed, multi-sided shape. You can create a polyline with several different commands. P-line or pline, rectang, polygon, donut, boundary, and even rev cloud. Pline or P-line, depending on how you want to say it, because it's just the letter P, then L-I-N-E. That will be your most commonly used command to draw a polyline with. And we'll talk about the other options in a later section. Each of them have their place. In fact, we've drawn many polylines already using the rectangle command. I like to use the rectangle command as a great example because it's very quick to do two points and you have a nice shape that's easily defined, seen, and worked with. But drawing a polyline can be accomplished using the exact same methods that you draw a line with. So the previous section here in this chapter will be applied directly to a p-line exactly in the same way. After all, a polyline is just a set of lines that are connected together. You can draw a polyline, or p-line as they're often called, just using coordinates, relative coordinates, polar coordinates, length, just two points, etc. Lines can also be drawn as arcs. You can even switch from line to arc while you're drawing a polyline. And when you go to edit them, you can do the same thing. Polylines are very versatile and have many functions. In fact, I know several CAD drafters that don't use lines. They use p-lines because you can do things with them that you can't with a regular line. So start the polyline command. You can come up right here in the home tab on the ribbon to the polyline, and you can see that it has multiple points here. Or you can type in p-line. The command alias for polyline is just pl. And that's what I typically do. I'll just type PL, then press Enter. And drawing a P line looks just like drawing a line. Pick a point. I will turn off my ortho command. Pick another point. And the nice thing about lines and polylines is that when you're done, you can type in CL for close, and it will close your object. You can do the same thing with the line. Type in line and just pick at least three points. Hit CL and it closes it. It will draw your line or polyline segment from the last point you entered to the first point you entered. This is a line. To pick this triangle I have to select each line. Each part of this triangle is its own object. Now in this shape, a polyline is only one object. Now I can grip edit this very quickly, changing the shape dramatically. I can even convert them to an arc and stretch them out. So very quickly I turn that odd shape into an even odder shape. You can't do that with regular lines. I can move it and things like that. But that's all. So polylines are a bit more versatile than a regular line. Let's erase these and get everything out of our way. Let's start with the polyline command again. PL. Pick a point anywhere. Let's draw a vertical line 10 units long. Turn on your ortho command and type in the number 10 for 10 units. You may have to zoom in or zoom out, depending on where you're at. Now, as you draw, you can do different things. Let's turn the ortho command off. And as you see, down here, we have many options for the polyline command. We have arc, close, which we showed you already, half width, length, undo, and width. Most of the time, you're only going to use arc, close, and width. Now, a line has a width of zero, but a polyline can have a width added to it or set to it. A width of zero 
means it's just the arbitrary default width on your screen. If you set a width which will be controlled in units, the actual width of that line will be that wide. We'll look at that in a little bit. But type in the letter A, press enter, and now we're drawing an arc. This arc will be tangent to the previous line that you drew, as you can see here. You will be deciding on the chord length and relative to your last line. And you can continue drawing arcs just by picking points. And they will all be tangential to each other. Now to draw a straight line again, hit L, enter, and now you're drawing a line. Now that line will not be a tangent line to that last curve. It just starts from that point and continues on to wherever it is you pick. You can come up with some very interesting shapes with the polyline command. After you draw a polyline, you can use the pedit command for polyline edit. You can do that to make changes to it. Type p edit right now and press enter and select the polyline. This command has many options available. You can close a polyline into a polygon with the close option. It will draw a line from wherever you were on your last point to the first one. Now this is a closed shape. The join command or option will combine other polylines together into one polyline. But keep in mind that their endpoints will have to be at the exact same places to be joined. You can use what's called a fuzz factor that will draw a segment in to fill the gap if necessary and you give it a maximum size. So if your gap is at least this big or less, it will draw a segment between the gaps. You can edit a vertex by moving it, taking it out or adding a new one with the edit the vertex. You can also change the width of the polyline. Let me show you. If I click width and I type in one for one unit, that line becomes very thick. I can also make it thicker I can keep going. Type width again, type in zero, we'll put it back. Now what happens if you put in a negative width? Click the width option, type in negative five. Nothing, it must be a positive number. Just press escape to get out of the polyline edit command. You can turn other objects into polylines using the pedit command. Start the command and then select your objects. So if we have lines, like this shape here, it consists of four different lines. We can change them into polylines. Start the polyline edit command, press enter, and now select your objects. And it will ask you, do you want to turn it into one, meaning a polyline? Because as you see on the command line, it says down here, object selected is not a polyline. Do you want it to turn into one? Hit Y for yes. And now we can join it, to the other lines. Press enter and enter again to close the command. Now you see this is one polyline. And any object like a line or an arc can be turned into a polyline. Polylines are a bit more versatile. You can do a lot of things with them. We'll look more closely in how to edit them in later sections. But polylines are great, and you're going to use them, and I encourage you to, because you can do other things with them as well. Since they are a closed object, you can very easily create a hatch inside them that fast. You can change your pattern very quickly, very easily because of it. You can't really do that so much with lines. You lose some control over it. But we'll talk about hatches later and other things that you can do with polylines.